In all four shootings, um, there appeared to be no signs of provocation on the part of the victims. Uh, they appear to be completely random in nature. Police also suspect Curry shot and killed Christian Maroney Monday at the apartment complex where they both lived on South Lamar. So far, we haven't found any other connection between the two men. The alleged shooter is Charles Curry. He came to Austin to work in Texas state politics. Kickstand's political reporter Phil Prazen has been digging into his past at the Capitol for us. Phil. Well, Sydney and Robert, I know people from covering the Capitol who has worked who have worked with Curry over the years. They tell me that he's been hired and fired by three different offices over the past year and a half. He came here two years ago at his entry level position in the Texas Senate as a sergeant at arms. Ahead of the 2017 legislative session, he was picked up by Senator Joan Huffman out of Houston. Chief, her chief of staff, Roe Jackson, tells me that he was fired in May 2017. He then tried to work for two political campaigns. The first one was uh, the political consulting firm that works with House Speaker Joe Strauss, Murphy Nassica. Uh, they tell me that he did not make it past their trial period. And then he tried to work for Austin Representative Paul Workman, who, for a vendor who worked on his campaign, and they tell me that he was fired for poor performance. Multiple high-level staffers who wish to be anonymous tell me Curry came to Texas from Kentucky in 2016. They describe a man who repeatedly crosses professional lines. And now police believe he drove around Austin shooting people at random with a handgun and may be connected to a murder at his South Lamar apartment complex. Based on some very preliminary information we'd received in that investigation that made it sound very similar to this individual. The random nature of these crimes shook Victoria Solis. I think we all want to know like what was the motive. She lives on the same floor of the post apartments as the victim, Christian Maroney. She heard the gunshots and saw his body in the hallway. I hope they find out exactly if, the, if he is officially connected so that we, we know that we can go to sleep at night and feel safe again. Chacon tells me that Curry has hired a lawyer. I reached out to Senator Joan Huffman's office and uh, her chief of staff, Roe Jackson, sent me this. Senator Huffman and her entire staff grieve for the deceased young man and for his family and pray for the quick recovery of other victims. Representative Paul Workman tells me, first and foremost, our prayers are with the victims of these acts of violence and their families. We are thankful for the police, first responders, and the investigators who will be working to ensure justice is brought in this tragedy. And I spoke with Craig Murphy from Murphy Nassica over the phone. He said that Curry did not make it past 22 days of the trial period. They had no indication that he could do something like this when they did not keep him on full time. And he says that these actions are gut wrenching. We're going to have the latest details on KXAN News later tonight on 9 and 10, and then always on KXAN.com. But from now, live from the Capitol, Phil Prazen, KXAN News.